do you see this next wave of digitization as a disruptor but also as an opportunity? What does it mean to you as a company and what do you believe it will mean for us as Indians? Look, Shireen, I have, I, have a, I have a simple mind and therefore my thoughts are very simple on this. As I understand, technology is meant to serve mankind, not the other way around. I think the day we allow AI and ML to start driving us is the day that nemesis will dawn on us. Yes, understand the benefits of AI and ML, but utilize them in the manner in which they improve, enhance, support, and develop mankind for the future. So I'm very happy with all the digital stuff that's taking place because it is, it is, it is making a level playing field for everybody. There was a time when you had to have certain skills in order to, I mean, for example, distribution was always considered to be a competitive advantage, and therefore you had companies like mine, etc., having a certain moat because of distribution. Today, with e-commerce, right, that, that, uh, that moat is getting, uh, getting gradually uh, punctured because you're having other ways of, 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 of uh, getting to the consumer. In the same manner, I think usage of AI uh, in predictive, informative, and in terms of defining your planning mechanisms has to be thought through very, very carefully. In a country like India, we have to be very, very cognizant of the fact that employment generation is a key aspect of this society. I can't have a situation where I continue to have uh, zero employment or, or, or jobless growth, right? I, and have all the benefit of, of, of AI. So AI has to be managed responsibly and has to be managed judiciously and also has to be managed keeping in view the dictum that technology is meant to serve mankind, not the other way around. What do you see as being the modes going forward? Look, I think, I think a couple of things uh, I, would, I would say builds. Uh, firstly, I think corporates have to realize uh, that trust is the essence of business. You deal, I deal with you, you deal with me, Shireen, on that principle that there is a trustworthy relationship that we can have. I think today we are chasing the lucre of short term and sacrificing the long term. We are willing to compromise on the decisions that will destroy my business model in the future simply because I want to make a quick buck now and satisfy some investor, some uh, share market or whatever. Get a sense from you in terms of what the future for Nestle in India could look like. You've uh, highlighted uh, and, and put in place a fairly aggressive capex plan. You've got an aggressive urban strategy, which means that you want to go outside of the metros, and that is something that you've been focusing on because you've been lagging behind your peers on that front. What can we expect in terms of new products, new launches, new adjacencies for the Indian consumer, for the Indian market? I, I think one of the things, um, Shireen, that I'm very proud of is that um, uh, I think we, in the FMCGs, and I don't boast about it, we have had a pretty solid track record. Right? In the last five years, our top line has grown by 11% plus our volume growth has been 6% plus. Our uh, operating um, uh, profits have been up by 11% plus. Our net profits have been up by 13% plus on a cargo basis. And our market capitalization has gone up five times. Right? So I think the team, the culture, the organization, the way people have worked, I'm extremely proud of. So I am really excited about the future of this company. I think, you know, there are like, they say in Hindi, har admi ka vakt aata hai, right? Har company ka bhi vakt aata hai. There's a time that comes for every organization. And I think the time for Nestle has come. And really, apart from this capex, I'm, I'm very excited uh, every, every morning to go to work because I see so many youngsters buzzing in the organization with new ideas. They're all the generation that the brands represent. So the guy on KitKat and the guy on Maggie and the girl on, on Nescafe are all in that age bracket where they enjoy the brand. And they come up with new ideas. My R&D centers are coming up with new ideas. My technology centers are coming up with new ideas. And I think the, the future is going to be rich with, with, with innovation, products that are, that are, uh, that are salient. Uh, I'm very excited by the new entry into plant-based proteins that we have done. Uh, please, please go to social. I mean, it's a, it's a lovely place where they have a whole menu with uh, Maggi uh, plant-based uh, proteins. Uh, fantastic stuff. So I, I really think that there is so much of energy. And one of the things, uh, Shireen, 
you can do without artificial intelligence you can't do without food no you can't you I, certainly you certainly cannot do without food you're channeling ranveer singh so apna time aa gaya ke aayega hamara <laughs> time to dekh dekhiye hamari track record batati hai aapko and uh, if if that is not good enough proof for you you'll see you'll see as time evolves what is the biggest lesson over the last 3 4 decades of your corporate career that you would like a uh, young entrepreneurs young professionals here to take away look i i have really uh, learned three three principles that uh, i call the three eyes and these these eyes are i the letter not i the person the first i is uh, inayat do things gracefully management is about graces management is about doing things subtly management is not loud punching in the face ibadat management dealing with people dealing with circumstances is about prayer why have we forgotten it why why is prayer such a weak thing why do we have to be aggressive coarse you know Uh, as kabir used to say he says aisi bani boliye man ka aap khoi aur unko sheetal kare aap ho sheetal hoy why don't we follow that i mean why why do we have why do i have to come here and show my power as the chairman of a company and you know hopefully try and impress you guys and and go out uh, feeling miserable right and the and the third one is insaniyat somewhere along the line as a leader uh, when i respond i'm i'm fairly uh, uh, up on linkedin when i respond to a young trainee who has joined this company and i tell her good luck to you she feels so happy and it goes back to my time when i was a trainee when one of my boss gave me a chit saying well done young man you will do well i preserved that for me that was the greatest thing to happen why don't we show a little bit more of insaniyat and i think so inayat ibadat insaniyat and the last one is it's not about you one of the biggest things i've learned in the maggie crisis is it's not about you it's about your people it really doesn't matter if if i had handled it if i had botched it up i would have retired by now i would have gone to chennai i would have been having my coffee and i would have been reading the hindu newspaper probably right what's the worst that can happen to you but i think if you have the moral fiber to do good and to be human i think there is a whole world out there that you can conquer uh, suresh narayan what an absolute pleasure thank you so much